today I'm going to be sharing with you exactly how I make my tuna salad sandwich. I have so many requests for this sandwich. Every time I make it, everybody wants to know. I mean, they want to know the ingredients and they ask, what did you put in your tuna salad sandwich? How did you make this sandwich? It is so good. I'm like, Come on guys, it's just tuna. I made a video menu for you, just in case you want to look around a little bit. We're going to start off by placing eight eggs in a medium saucepan over medium high heat. I did cover the eggs with approximately four cups of water. We're going to place the eggs in the water gently. We did add two tablespoons of vinegar for easy peeling. You can also add oil to the water for easy peeling. We cook the eggs for six to 10 minutes. I love this steamer. It allows us to take all eight eggs out at the same time. At this time, we're gonna let our perfect hard boiled eggs hang out in cool water until they're ready, cool enough to handle. The onion is my favorite vegetable and I use it in so much of my cooking. I mean, I pretty much use the onion every day. The first thing I like to do is cut the stem ends off. And once we get the ends off, it's easy to grab the layer and just peel it. You can hear that papery skin very well. This onion is so fresh. Sometimes it does get frustrating trying to get the papery skin off because it's on there so tight. Now you can also use your knife to remove any stubborn skin that doesn't want to come off. Let me tell you something. If you are allergic to onion, but you love the taste of fresh onion, you can use dehydrated onion, onion flakes, or onion powder in place of onion. Now on the other hand, if you just don't like the taste of onions, again, you have an allergy to onions, you can substitute fresh onions for water chestnuts. If you want something wet and crunchy, similar to the texture of onions, get you a can of water chestnuts out of the Asian section in the store. You will love them. I cannot imagine tuna salad without onion. A fresh onion adds so much flavor and so much texture. I am a crunchy freak and onions are crunchy. You wanna always use the freshest onion possible. A fresh onion takes your tuna salad to the next level. You don't want to cut this in right here because this is what makes us cry. We're also going to be adding chopped celery to our tuna salad because it tastes good and it has a beautiful texture and it's crunchy. I told you guys I love I'm crunchy. I'm only going to be using about three stalks of celery and I'm going to chop it as small as I can. I like crunch, but I don't like big country crunch. Celery may not have the strongest flavor in the tuna salad, but it does have a satisfying, crisp, crunchy, freshness. Delicious taste. Now I'm not gonna add a whole bunch of celery to the tuna salad. If I was to describe it, I would say I'm just gonna add a snap of chopped celery, just to liven it up a little bit with a little bit of extra texture. Now, if you just don't wanna buy a whole stock of celery for just one recipe, I'm gonna give you three alternatives that you can use because the main thing that celery is used for because it has the perfect crunch. You may also consider using carrots, chopped cucumber, or bell peppers to achieve that crunch. And if you are really looking to spice up your tuna salads, you can also add in cilantro, lime juice, minced red peppers, and minced jalapeno pepper deliver such a tasty kick of both texture and heat. The most amazing thing about making a tuna salad is that you can put in absolutely anything you desire. Anything that you'd like to achieve, you can add it to your tuna salad. And there's nothing better than a crunchy, tasty salad. Our hard boiled eggs have cooled off and are ready to be peeled. Don't you just love hard boiled eggs in your tuna salad? It adds an extra layer of creamy goodness. I am so excited about this tuna salad. Woo! It's going to be so good, guys. Creamy, crunchy, and delicious. Everybody has a kitchen task that they hate. 
it might be cutting onions, which is most people's task that they hate because of the tears, or peeling beet. You get pink stains everywhere. And for me, it's peeling hard boiled eggs. I hate removing the shell because no matter how hard I try, I can never get the perfect peel. That means my deviled eggs never look as flawless as I want them to. Luckily for me, I have a new method of how to peel hard boiled egg with picture perfect results. That means no more ugly eggs, no more frustration and I could cross this task off my list. You may have heard of a few methods claiming to be the best way to peel a hard boiled egg. And comment below if you've heard of these. Shaking them in a mason jar or cup, using a spoon, running them under cold water. But the best way to peel a hard boiled egg is by rolling the hard boiled egg on your kitchen counter back and forth crack it for a nice even peel and once the egg is totally cracked we're going to start peeling from the large end of the egg it will help separate the thin skin from the egg surface to make the egg very easy to peel now i love peeling eggs is there a kitchen chore that you do not like doing if there is please comment below let me know let's tackle it together i'm here for you I'm here to help you. Don't be shy. I don't judge. We're going to be using six cans of chicken of the sea light tuna. We have it opened and drained. We're going to pour that in a bowl, large bowl. First, we're going to add in our chopped eggs. Next, we're adding in chopped celery for added crunch. Adding in our chopped onion, crunch, texture, and flavor. Next, we're adding in our dill pickle relish. You can add sweet if you like. Dijon mustard, mayonnaise. Yes, we're gonna mix that very well. All flavors must be combined. I'm gonna continue to stir, blend, and mix well until it's smooth, creamy, and delicious. Looks so good. We're going to be adding in freshly ground black pepper. We're going to be adding in a few shakes of Lighthouse Dill Herbs. Supreme Lemon Pepper Seasoning. Continue to mix very well. It's so important to get all those flavors blended and combined. Just as important is the taste test before you serve it. Perfect! I don't know where you are, but where I am, it is hot, hot, hot. And tuna is the perfect sandwich. Stay out the kitchen, guys. If you are still here, I appreciate you. Thank you. I have the perfect video for you to watch on the left. And I'll see you in the next one.